welcome to episode 79 of the 10 minute mulling challenge. I thought it was appropriate to have an empty chair intro with a little sign because when I was a kid I used to go to Skansen which is a zoo just uh, in the Stockholm area and I think it was a big scam because every time you got there all you do is you stand on a, on a little, little pedestal thing or because you're so short you look on a sign and it said like the lynx for example and you could never see an animal inside it was always emptiness so I'm convinced it was a scam they just uh, pulled people in there made them look at signs saying how extinct something was and then proved that it was extinct by not having anything, anything in the cage and also to make things worse they put Skansen right next to Gröna Lund which is a theme park so every time we got there with school, you'd see all the big cool rides, the, the like roller coasters and everything. And just by the time you got to there, everyone had to turn left and go into the empty zoo and stuff. So to celebrate that moment, uh, I thought I was going to model a lynx. And it's actually not totally random either, because um, I've started to do a little bit of a modeling gig. <laughs> not like modeling modeling, because uh, for obvious reasons that would fail. But I'm doing some 3D modeling, so I'm doing CAD drawings to Blender. And which is going to be used in VR in Unity. And uh, a guy named Fredrik Wallin actually found me through my YouTube channel and uh, that's how I got that little side gig. So I'm working uh, with that every now and then now um, in my spare time, I was going to say. I don't really have any spare time, but I do that. And um, yesterday we had a little bit of a, an after work meeting with a nice beer and a bit of a chat. And we came into the topic of uh, speaking about the lynx or in Swedish, it's lujur. Then uh, I thought, okay, I'm going to try to model that. And instantly when I said that I was going to try to model it, I regretted it because uh, my anatomy skills for uh, humans is in fact about zero. And if you look at anatomy for animals, I have even less knowledge about that. So I'm bound to fail this one, I'm happy to say. So it's going to be an interesting episode, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, out of my comfort zone. Sometimes you have to go uh, outside your comfort zone and then uh, just see what happens. Also, me and Fredrik had something else in common. Um, we spoke about uh, this and uh, we both ride motocross. And uh, my wife actually got me this one. Um, breaks my bones, but never my soul. So we had that in common, me and Fredrik. We both ride motocross and apparently we broke the, our collar bones and ribs and stuff about the same amount of times, I think. So enough side stories. Uh, let's uh, bring up Blender and uh, model ourselves a Lynx now. Ah, it's gonna be exciting. Ready, steady, go and we're off. Shift A, armature, and we're gonna use the animal cat rig. And can't really see it, so we need to scale it up. Tab A, scale it. Okay, period. Let's go for the 3D cursor scaling. There we go. That should do. And I'm just gonna use the bones really for reference, but I will, maybe I'll make it slightly wider since it's not like a house cat. So I'll select these and then just go Maybe these two. Scale X. That's it. Slightly wider. All right. And now let's bring back the cube. Alt H to unhide that one. Tab into edit mode. Eight. Select all of it. Scale it down and go to edit and auto mirror. Side view. 300 keypad. Alt Z to see through. And three to get in. Face select. Now we're okay. Now we're going <laughs> to. This is going to be an issue now because again, anatomy skills zero. Animal anatomy skills zero zero or negative three e to extrude s to scale right, i'm just going to place something up here rotate it's good that the, the bones here should help me a little bit so side view e to extrude or apparently r to rotate uh e to extrude scale that one down and e to extrude i have a front bone here somewhere all right that's gonna have to do ha ah, this could be disaster pretty good so control R for loop cut, move these in and move that out, leave space for a leg there. Move this in, leave space for a leg here. That should do. And maybe I'll move these up. Okay. So and I, I'm not even a cat person. I think I'm the only one on the internet who's not a cat person. So is, that's not helping me either. E to extrude, S to scale. There's gonna be a tail here. They've got short tails, I think. I don't know why. I saw pictures of them at Skansen, where they're supposed to have the animal, but I saw pictures of them there on the signs. So anyway, here, let's go to front view, G to move this one in, R to rotate it, E to extrude. Okay. Okay, roast me in the comments, guys. Scale zero, because again, you came here to watch someone who supposedly knows how to model. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> E to extrude, as the scale. So again, low poly, remember, safety card. Safety card first, E to extrude, test the scale, bring that one down to there. All right. And it's skinny 
uh, weird looking control plus okay that was wrong key control plus scale x a little bit wider and let's bring this one in all right i'm gonna fix the i was gonna say details later it's not gonna be any details again loopy g okay here's gonna be some sort of a rear legs back legs scale rotate or scale z zero I do that to flatten these because then it's a little bit easier to extrude the legs. So I'll move that down to here. Oh yeah, they've got these weird legs, don't they? Again, animal legs where it's like double jointed things. So I have to go to there and then E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate down to here. Okay, that was a bit loop, ah! loop cut there. And now I can blame it that it's early in the morning as well. Usually I blame it that it's late in the night. Now it's early in the morning. So I've got so many excuses lined up for this. Perfect. Perfect. Purr, purr. Cats, did they purr? Oh yeah, I don't know if Lynx is purr. This one won't. It's going to be just silent and sad. Okay, there we go. And how am I do doing? 6.15. I even forgot that I was timing myself. Now I just got stressed and stuff. That's good, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we'll do the short tail here now. I totally forgot that it was on time. E to extrude, S to scale. And again, the armature's got a long tail, but this one will have a short tail. Uh, I think they've got like a little black tip on their tail as well. So there we go. Ah, poor thing, this is... I feel so sorry for this thing. How, why did I, of all people, have to create it? Maybe that Jan Sculpts or someone should have created something like this. So it'll look amazing. Uh, but this is going to have to do with uh, the way I created it. All right, uh, we have to make a head here now because I've got um, I've got panic, first of all. E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, and odd Z. So these bones should help me now. I won't be able to use them to, to animate the face or anything. Rotate, but at least I can use them as a little bit of a guidance to make the face. S to scale, and E to extrude. Okay, E to extrude, S to scale. That's it, and one, okay, I'll have to just move these, two. okay, maybe proportional will help me a little bit here. Okay, and we have to make a cat-like face here, so alt Z. Maybe I'll just bring this one in, okay, oh, proportional off, there we go. Maybe I can, oh, fat face, I hate when that happens, um, I'll have to bring that in. There we go, how much? 441, okay, eyes, where should I put them? In the face here somewhere. Maybe if I do eye to inset. Aha, eye to inset, for the eye. Isn't even funny, but it's a feeble attempt to make a joke. So, okay. Uh, scale, okay, eyes somewhere here. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Okay, A to select everything. I think they've got like a, this, pale color of some sort. Here we go. There we go. That's probably not the right color either, but I don't have that in the palette. Should have prepped a better palette for this. Uh, actually, I'll go for this one. They're not that yellow, I don't think. I should have had a desaturated one. Okay, I can't waste time. I have to go back to this color. There we go. Uh, black eye, so I can see. <laughs> I don't want to give it a black eye as well. Poor thing. But there we go. And we'll give it an, uh, I don't think even call a nose. What's it, what, what you call the the nose thing of a of an animal? God, I should practice my English a little bit more. Oh, we, it needs ears as well. So eye to inset an ear, strange. And I have to go to uh, loop tools and do circle there. Rotate, scale, bring that up. E to extrude, S to scale. And okay, how am I doing? Three minutes to go. Poor thing. I'm not going to be able to save you. I'm no wonder you're going extinct. God, if you look like this. And I feel partially guilty about it now, too. Because it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to look like this. Gee, a, a thick neck as well. You have to be agile. You have to capture yourself. You have to eat. You have to kill your prey. Again. Don't go extinct. Uh, S to scale. Control R, S to scale, let's do... I don't want to put through too many polygons in here because then it looks like I'm trying to do something that looks realistic. So, panic mode going on. Three, two minutes, 40, is it? Okay. And now I wish I had some sort of a reference because I have no idea. I have to 
try to think back of those uh, photographs that I saw in Skansen, where there was supposed to be that animal. She, and uh, this could be a pregnant uh, lynx, possibly, by the looks of it. There we go. I think I can do. Ooh, big chest there. All right, let's do uh, control select to here. I think this tail's too fat as well. Always with the mirror modifier, it goes huge. Uh, when it scales, it doesn't scale properly on the... Well, it probably does, but it doesn't take into account the mirrorness. So it's a good thing I spotted that. We'll do a little black tail tip thing here as well. Maybe that's the only tell telltale. <laughs> tell telltale? Tail sign? Only sign that it's um, a lynx. So there we go. Black tip. Probably doesn't even have that. But again, I can't really colorize the other one. I have to rig it as well. But I've got the armature behind it there. And again, I don't know, do they have like maybe white in the ears? Oh, they've got little, uh, uh, that's another sign that it's a lynx actually. They've got these little like fluffy things here on the tip. Actually, I'll just do that. And then old said see through box select those and then we'll make those like black as well because they that's another sign that it's a one of those. Maybe a little bit skinnier there. There we go. Ah! Sorry, poor thing. Oh, I felt sorry for it. Okay. That's it. So I'm going to rig it now. And it's not going to deform very nicely since it has so few polys. But I've got 56 seconds. So first of all, I have to generate the rig. Sometimes it's been a long time since I used Rigify. So select the rig. And which tab is it in? There we go. In this tab. Running man tab. Uh, generate rig. So. Hello. Oh, there we go. And then... Hide the, unhide the cube, which is our uh, links. Hide the meta rig. Click on this one. I've got 29 seconds now. Hopefully this will work. Um, shift select the rig and then control P and then do armature deform with automatic weights. That's it. It should be, ri should be rigged now. Control tab. It didn't even go down to the buzzer. Control tab and here we go. Yeah, it's rigged. Ah, can we move a leg? Yeah. And can we move the head? Why is it lagging? There we go. Ah! Dismiss. Okay, we made ourselves a pregnant lynx, apparently. I should have uh, uh, moved this in a little bit. Uh, again, the tinkering time thing. Let's just pretend that this was just on the buzzer. There we go. Nice save. Just in time there. Okay. So, I have no idea if, uh, let's bring up a reference picture actually. Let's uh, search for something to bring a browser. Do you know what? I'm not even going to search for it because I'm going to feel so so annoyed that I didn't nail it. <laughs> I should have nailed this one. Uh, so search yourself links and uh, go do a Google image search and then uh, see for yourself. Compare it maybe side by side and then roast me mentally in, in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> so, but let's uh, have a little bit. I don't know what all of these control things are. I know that like they're the tail and stuff, obviously, but I don't think I could even pose this thing. Let's save it anyway. Okay, so G, let's move it into an attack pose here. Down a little bit. Uh, uh, where are these control things anyway? What's this even doing? Can I move this? G. Okay, so you've got like quite a lot of control apparently on all the stuff here. What's this? That's for the forward kinematic, isn't it? So that's the foot one. Okay, let's get into a bit of a pose here then. Down to there. Should we do one leg forward? Shift space G. There we go. Maybe out a bit. This one can go back. All right, it's not going to get any better. Great. 
Maybe we should try the UV unwrap it for a change. We've got a control tab out of post mode for that one. Select this thing. Let's try to UV unwrap it. So I'll go to UV editing I'm already in. A to select all of it. UV, let's do smart UV project and just accept the defaults there. And here we go. I need to texture paint now. So I'll go into shading. This is something I don't do very often. And this is going to be a first on this video. So let's create a new texture here. Shift A, texture. Let's create a new 1024, 1024 will do. UV editing. Oh, that looks a bit cool, like a panther. Uh, it doesn't really pack it that well. I actually bought some uh, UV packing uh, software uh, add-ons back uh, not too long ago, but I forgot where I put it. So, control tab. Can you do some texture paint? Yeah, there we go. I should Google this. I've never actually done this before. How do you texture paint? How do I get a color? Orangey. Oh, that worked pretty good. So let's paint this thing. Can I paint there? No, apparently not. So let's get it. Oh, I'm going to do white under here anyway. So again, this is not a tutorial. Oh, there's the camera. This is not a tutorial. Uh, if it was, I'd do it probably in a planned in a good way. And I have never done this before actually in Blender. So the few times I've uh, textured something, I've actually always done it outside in um, like some three, either in uh, Photoshop or something where I export it, or uh, I've done it in Substance Painter. So this is going to be uh, interesting. Let's put some eyes here. They've got white around the eyes, I think, actually. So start with uh, here and then. I'm going to bring a reference <clears throat> picture up just so I can see it roughly what the, they look like. So let's grab the image here. Let's go for white here around the eyes and down here on the chest. Under here. And on the tail, I think of it too. Flat tail. There we go. And on the ears, apparently. There we go. Can I feather the edges a little bit more? Radius, probably. Again. And a bit down here. And on the back leg. Oops. There we go. Is there a color picker tool? I usually is. No. I is the inset here. This one works, doesn't it? There we go. Pow. Okay. And now let's do some nose and some eyes. Black, <clears throat> smaller radius. Trying to look here to see what it looks like. Ah, 
It's got some black there on these. And it goes to a darker orange up here, or a brown nearly. Okay, and now it's just some random uh, dots here, like irregular. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. A shaky hand like mine works pretty good for this. Because they're supposed to be a bit randomized like that. Woohoo! Do they go down here as well? Yeah, even on the white bits. So this is the first on 10 minute modeling challenge now. First time ever painting. And again, just like with the low poly count, it probably explains itself why I don't do this very often. Because it's not my cup of tea, but this is my cup of coffee. I want. It's not that I don't want to do it. I want to do it. Um, just uh, haven't gone around to it so much. There we go. It's got some like war stripes here too. Okay. I'm probably doing more damage than good now. It's got some stripes here, too. Okay. Oh, it's got some stripes here, too. Woo! One, two... I don't know if there's a count to it. But... Here we go. Recolor. I didn't have the full opacity, so I'll just do some dark in the middle here. There we go. That's about as far as I can see. So from a distance, woohoo! Here we go. If you zoom out again. It'll be good enough from a distance. That's what I like about low poly and um, these texturing stuff. Uh, you're not, I'm not designing that to be zoomed in like this and printed out, because then you'd probably vomit on yourself and any nearby people. But the further away you get, and it could be because my eyes are getting blurry as well, so it looks better and better the further away you got. So if you're going to make a game, and it's again, we're making game assets here, we're not making art. Well, sort of. But for a game asset, if you zoom out like this and animate it, I think it'll, you'll get away with it. It'll look good enough. Look good enough from a distance. And for half blind people, they'll enjoy it too. <laughs> so that's episode 79 in the books. A lynx, or a lujur in Swedish. And for all those cat people out there, I guess it could double up a little bit like a cat as well, because I haven't done a cat. So we used the Rigify armature, the add-on, uh, free again, again with the, again, again, again. <laughs> uh, with Blender, you get it. You just have to go to Preference, Add-ons, and then enable the Rigify add-on. And when you do Shift-A to add it, you'll have a little animal skeleton there, or animal rig. And then you have to generate the rig before you map it as well. Well, a lot of rubbish there. The tip this week is going to be go out of your comfort zone. I don't, I was afraid of doing this one, actually. When it came on, the, when we spoke about it yesterday, I said, oh yeah, I can probably do a lynx. And then I thought, oh, I have no idea how to do, uh, like, real animals. That's why I've tried to do, like, dragons, um, dinosaurs, because they're pretty extinct. 
and other things that it's difficult to find references to. I'm always petrified to do something where you can actually go and look at it. Oh, this is what it's supposed to look like and this is uh, what it turned out like. So go out of your comfort zone uh, every now and then and try to model stuff that you have uh, little faith in that you'll actually pull off. <laughs> so that's uh, tip number one. Push the boundaries of uh, where you dare to go. And the second one is uh, this one actually I'm gonna tip myself and that's to do some more texture painting. It was actually a little bit fun. I didn't expect it to be that simple. This is the, literally the first time I tried to paint anything inside of a blender like this. So I just went into the shading here, created a new texture, clicked on new there and then in the UV editing tab we replaced the gradient that we usually use and then you can just go into control tab and go to texture paint and apparently you can just paint the texture away here in blender. Should really do that more often. It was fun. If you haven't seen my Instagram account, you should head over there now as well. Search up Infensia on Instagram, or I think you can even go on a browser to Infensia, no, to instagram.com slash Infensia. And every day now, I'm uh, putting up some random characters. So I modeled uh, a whole bunch of uh, different can cannibals. <laughs> no, I've got animals on my mind now. So thanks again. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I've got a Patreon page as well if you want to go to patreon.com slash Infensia and give a little bit of extra support there. I upload these models here that I do in my 10 minute modeling challenge in batches there. So you'll be able to download all of those and either use them or even better use them as a reference or ideas on how you can model your own stuff because it's always fun to do your own things. So until next week, have a great one and I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye for now.